In this video, I'll be showing you exactly how I plan my day in Notion. This is a tried and tested method that I've been using for months now, and I've noticed that my productivity has improved considerably since I started using it. It's also based on several well-known productivity methods, so even science can back this up. So here is my task manager that I'm gonna be showing you in this video, but just before we get started, I do want to let you know that this exact task manager is actually a part of my second brain template that I spent a long time putting together and testing until it was absolutely perfect. If you are interested in grabbing my exact template, then it is available on my store and I'll leave a link in the description box below. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get started. So under this my tasks heading here, we have the tasks tab. So these are my tasks for the day and this task list is actually automatically generated for me each day. I do have a few different toggles here as you can see which actually divide up the tasks so we firstly have the today toggle which shows today's tasks we have a tomorrow toggle if I want to preview all of my tasks for tomorrow and then I also have this upcoming toggle here which shows all of the upcoming tasks and they're sorted based on their due date so I personally find that this system works really well as I can close all of the other toggles to just focus on today's tasks but it's also super easy to check what else I have coming up and I can do it right here in the main task list with just a single click I don't have to bother going to another page page or anything like that. So the tasks are mainly sorted based on their due date, but they are also sorted based on their priority level. So the highest priority tasks will show at the top of the list. So that just helps me ensure that I am getting the most important tasks done first. And if the task is related to a specific project like this one, it will show the name of the project here so you can easily keep track. And once you check off a task like this, it will disappear from the list, which I also find really useful. So I can just focus on outstanding tasks. Now, any tasks that I don't get around to will show up on this overdue tab. So in this case, all of the due dates have now passed. And I've also set up this little overdue alert here to emphasize that the tasks are overdue. Now, these tasks are all sorted based on their priority with the highest priority tasks showing at the top of the list. And this helps me to prioritize which tasks need to be tackled first. It's also super easy to change the due date directly from the list by clicking on the date and selecting a new one. Now the third tab is the no deadline tab. Now the idea for this tab is that we often have those tasks that need to be done at some point but they don't have a specified deadline. So if you're familiar with the getting things done productivity method by David Allen then he actually talks about having a someday or maybe list which is essentially a list of tasks that you want to get around to at some point but you're not going to do them right now. So that's why I've added this tab here. It simply picks up only tasks that have no deadline set and as soon as you add a deadline the task will disappear from here and and then it will show up again on the main task list. Now, I usually review this list every now and again to see if there's anything that I can schedule and move into my main task list. Otherwise, if I check off all of my tasks for the day and I have a bit of spare time, then I might come onto here to see if there's anything else that I can check off. And these tasks here are also sorted based on their priority. So that is our main task list. So the next thing that I want to talk about is how I add new tasks into the task list. So I've actually designed this system to make it as easy as possible to add new tasks. And the idea here is that it shouldn't take much time at all to add a new task. So throughout my day, whenever a new task pops up or I randomly think of something that I need to do, I simply click on this plus new task button here in the sidebar. And then this side window will pop up where I can simply just input the name of the task. So let's just say write a new blog post. And once I filled that in, I can actually just close this page off and fill out the rest of the details later. The idea is that I can quickly capture new tasks that pop into my head, but it doesn't take me away from what I'm currently doing as it literally takes two seconds to click the button and add in the task. Then when I'm ready, I come to the task inbox here, which will bring up all of the new tasks that I've added into the system using the new task button in the sidebar. So here I can set a due date for the task, a priority level, and I can even associate it with a project if necessary. And once I filled in all of the necessary details, I can simply change the status here from inbox to processed. And as you can see, that will remove the task from the inbox and that's now been added into our main task list down here. And there are a couple of other options here if I happen to have already completed the task, if I end up delegating it to someone else, or if I decide to just trash it completely. Now, I usually check my task inbox once a day in the morning. That's when I've set aside a couple of minutes just to sort through all of the new tasks that I've added into the system and I find that works quite well. And all of the tasks will then show up in my main task list where they belong based on their due date. And I also actually use this task inbox to add new tasks into the system if I have a lot of tasks to add or if I'm doing some planning. So for example, say I have a new project coming up with 10 tasks to complete, it's actually easier for me to add them directly to this table and then sort them rather than using the button in the sidebar. The button is mainly used for quickly capturing new tasks or ideas throughout the day. And sometimes I actually find it useful to look at all of my tasks on a 
calendar to visualize what I have coming up. So I've also set up an alternate view of the same task list database just underneath. So it actually pulls through all of the tasks from above. And you can use these arrows here just to switch between the different months. Now I find that a calendar like this is super handy just to see where you have free time. And I often use it as a reference when I'm scheduling in new tasks. And finally, I did also set up this completed tasks page just in case I need to reference or check tasks that I've already completed. And as you can see, it just shows all of my completed tasks sorted based on when they were completed so that the most recently completed tasks will show up at the top of the list. It also serves as a handy backup just in case I check a task off by mistake. So I can easily just come up here and the most recently checked off task will be right at the top of the list. So I can simply just uncheck it and it will be re-added back into the main task list exactly as it was. And that's it. As I mentioned at the start of the video, the task manager that I've shown you today is part of my second brain template, which is an all-in-one productivity system that features a ton of other features that I haven't showed you today, including projects, goals, notes, and more. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you are interested. And I also did record an entire video showing you all of the features that the second brain has to offer here. So I'd recommend checking that out if you want to see more.